Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this theorem. Okay. So this theorem is related with power series. So we have one power series summation and running from zero to infinity cn x raised to n. So this is our power series, right? They have given there are two points x1 and x2. As you can see here, we have point x1 and we have a second point x2. The given information is that series is convergent for point x1 and series is divergent for point x2. And our task is to prove if you have any point x whose mod is less than x1, then for that x1, the series is absolutely convergent. And if you have any point x with mod greater than mod of x2, then series is divergent uh, for that x. Okay. So let us start to prove. Uh, see, let us start with a given information. What we have, let me write, we have summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to n. So this is our power series, right? Given that it converges, converges at x1 belongs to R. It converges at x1. That means if you replace x by x1, the corresponding series is convergent. So that means summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x1 raised to n is convergent. So if you have any convergent series, then definitely the corresponding sequence converges to 0. So that means the sequence, what is the sequence we have? Cn x1 raised to n converges to 0. So the most important thing that sequence is convergent and we are familiar with one result every convergent sequence is bounded. So that's why we can say that that sequence is also bounded. So let me mention implies sequence cn x1 raised to n is bounded. Okay. So when we say the sequence is bounded, if we get a positive real number, some m such that mod of that sequence, mod of each term is less than or equal to m. So here also this sequence is bounded so therefore, definitely we can sign, find some positive real number m such that, okay, such that, let me write here, such that mod of cn x1 raised to n less than or equal to m for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. So this is so much important thing we have got. So let me call it as statement number one. Okay, so the first Thing we have so inequality number one you can say after that we have to prove if you have any x with mod less than x1 then for that x also the series is convergent so let us take let x belongs to r such that so i am taking any arbitrary real number whose mod is less than mod of x1 okay so this is another important thing we have see uh, see, if I shift mod x1 on this side, what will we have? I'm going to shift it on this side. So x upon x1 less than 1, right? See, we can do this because they have clearly mentioned x1 cannot be 0. So definitely we can divide by x1, okay, mod x1. So I got this one. So let us call it as 2. So now consider, okay, so now consider. I'm going to consider. Uh, mod cn x raised to n okay since we have to prove this series is convergent so i have considered that mod of cn x raised to n we can take separate separate mod mod cn mod x raised to n now i'm going to multiply and divide by x1 raised to n so let us do so i'm multiplying cn x1 raised to n here mod x raised to n upon x1 raised to n okay so i multiplied and divided by x1 mod x1 raised to n okay so there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so therefore what can i write here so this is equal to uh, or let me write again therefore mod cn x raised to n is equal to so you can write a common mod mod cn x1 raised to n right into mod x raised to n x1 raised to n okay or you can simply write mod raised to n that is also okay getting so yes we can take a common mod and raised to n 
But see, mod C n x1 raised to n is less than or equal to m. So I, I should mention this is less than or equal to m into mod x upon x1 raised to n. I should mention from 1. From 1, right? See, now we have a series. Then if you consider this series, summation n running from 0 to infinity, whatever we have got here, that is m x minus x1 raised to n. So basically it's a geometric series. You know the standard form of geometric series summation a r raised to n. Okay, so this is a standard form of geometric series. You can easily see m we have here r is nothing but mod x minus x1. So this is a geometric series. Let me mention it's a geometric series. It's a geometric series with common ratio that r is called as common ratio with common ratio so what is r here our r is mod x upon x1 so this is our r this is a common ratio okay so we are familiar with that result if you have a geometric series with common ratio less than one then the series is convergent and if you have geometric series with common ratio greater than one then the series is divergent so here we have mod x minus x1 as a common ratio, but we have already proved it is less than 1. So this is a geometric series with common ratio less than 1. So therefore, summation n running from 0 to infinity m mod x upon x1 raised to n is a convergent series. So it's a convergent series. So see, we have already proved this is greater than this one. What we have proved, this one is greater than mod of this one. But this is convergent, bigger series is convergent. That means smaller series is obviously convergent by comparison test. All terms are positive since we have already taken mod there. If the bigger series is convergent, so the smaller series is also convergent by comparison test. I'm going to mention that thing, just make a screenshot of it. So therefore, by comparison test, let me mention Therefore, by comparison test, we can write the series, that series, summation n running from 0 to infinity mod cn x raised to n is convergent, right? So that means, let me write a conclusion. Therefore, for each x belongs to R with mod x less than mod x1, the series, this series, n running from 0 to infinity mod c n x raised to n is convergent. Okay, so if you have this condition, then definitely that series is convergent. So after that, we have to prove the second part also. In second part, we have a x whose mod is greater than mod x2, then we have to prove that the same series is divergent. Okay, we are going to prove that thing, just make a screenshot of it. So in second case, we have the information mod x greater than mod x2. Okay, so x is any real number with this condition. Okay, and we have to prove that for that x, the series is divergent. Okay, what will I do? I will take the nth power, doesn't matter, we will have the same x raised to n less than mod x2 raised to n. Okay, by taking nth power of both sides, both are non-negative real numbers since we have already applied mod. By properties of mod, we can take that x raised to power inside by properties okay so let us multiply both sides by mod cn so again those are non-negative so therefore we can write mod cn x raised to n greater than mod cn x2 raised to n okay so by properties of mod we can write in this way okay so this is so much important thing we have got so let us consider now given thing so we have the given thing is summation n running from 0 to infinity what have they, they have mentioned is cn x raised to n is divergent what they have mentioned it is divergent uh, it is divergent at x2 so it's a divergent at x2 that means if you replace x by x2 it is divergent series n running from 0 to infinity cn x2 raised to n is divergent series okay 
so it's a divergent series so if you take mod definitely it is divergent okay so see summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x2 raised to n let me write x2 raised to n mod is divergent series so it's a divergent series getting so if original series is divergent if you apply the mod definitely it is divergent but see we have this mod is greater than this one you can see this mod is greater than this one and this series the corresponding series is divergent then bigger series is obviously divergent again i'm using the comparison test comparison test says if the smaller series is divergent then larger series is obviously divergent so therefore by comparison test so by comparison test what can we write the series mod cn x raised to n is divergent series so it's a divergent series that means we proved that if you have any x with mod greater than mod of x2 then definitely the series is divergent okay so in this way we completed proof so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you